Hello, it's Friday Souls. It's Friday Souls. What you gonna make? If you wanna see what I've been up to this week, please stay tuned. So hello everybody. First we want to give a big thank you to Jen from Today in Jen's Sewing Room for creating this hashtag where sewers can come together and show you the things that they're making as well as talk a little bit about life. Jen also created another hashtag where you could um, kind of see the behind the scenes or a week in the life of a Friday sewist. It is Friday so It is hashtag Friday Sews Day Today. However, I started recording and I had to stop because what I was making was something that I am not able to share with anyone at this time because I was working on a private project. And when I thought about that, then I had to stop recording and just delete that because it's, I just, I couldn't share that with anybody at, this, at the moment. So because of what I was working on and the fails I did this week where I could not record anything else, I will do my behind the scenes this week. So let's talk about the fails. After I finished the garment that I did finish for the other um, project I was working on, I decided I wanted to make a denim skirt out of a pair of jeans. Turned out to be an epic fail. I cut it too short. I just, it was just too much. And I think that I've trained myself so much to follow a pattern that um, where I used to could just cut in based on you know my markings or whatever it was just a tad bit off it was it was a way bit off <laughs> to be honest with you so it just it looked horrible so i just got a bunch of jean scraps that i'm going to turn into a bag so it won't go to waste um but there were some jeans i found when i went thrifting while i was out of town but they fit me perfect but the um in between the leg whoever had them they you know they had that problem that most of us have where our thighs fight each other and you get that friction and it rubs and they had holes in it but i really was in intending to keep one pair and do maybe visible mending on it because they fit really really nice um and i hope i did because i was looking for a pair and i can't find it so hopefully i did hold on to one of the pairs so i could do visible mending that's something i've been trying to practice and work on as well so hopefully I'll have something to show you this coming up week that I can be proud of. I'm going to show you regardless, but this week was just a disaster. I think I, I think I was tired from the other project. I think I was trying to cram something in so I could have something to show you. And that that's not fair to you nor me. So I just had to scrap it. And I hear people say all the time when it's not working or whatever, sometimes you have to walk away. And I finally had my opportunity where I had experience. I just had to walk away from it. So that's that. Um, this week I also received some fabrics that I wanted to share with you. These Now the fabrics that I'm going to share with you are home decor fabrics. But I picked these up because I thought they would be amazing blazers or some type of outerwear. So the thing with the fabrics will, is that um, I will have to get them dry clean prior to making what I'm going to make and that's fine I didn't get a whole lot but I just thought when I saw this it spoke blazer to me an amazing blazer or a different blazer and um and so I got them and I just wanted to share with you what I picked up okay this fabric um and I'm not quite sure of like all of the names of the fabric but what I will do as I make items I will have the specific fabric type listed in my description but um i just i'm a fan of embroidery and there's i just thought this would be really really pretty so i picked this up and i can see a long coat with this in a solid color dress underneath i think that would be really nice really different so I picked it up. I see this as a long, like, um, tr not not quite a trench, but trench style coat. And I think, as a matter of fact, there's a, um, 
if I think of it, there is a pattern that McCall's just came out with. And I'm going to look at that pattern for this particular um, fabric right here because I do have quite a bit of it. And I just think it'll be an amazing out-of-the-box coat to wear, especially for like the fall season. It's not too much. It's not too heavy. Um, this right here, I think will be adorable blazer for the spring. I think that it's so cute. Like I said, I love embroidery, but I, for the spring, it's not really it's not really a thick fabric either. But I think that is so adorable, and that is going to be a springtime um, mate. Now I got this. If you watched me um, before on um, one Christmas in July, I made a pair of earrings out of some scrap fabric of this. So it was only. It's not even probably a yard of this left. So I grabbed this in hopes that I can mix it with some denim and make a jacket and wear with those earrings because I think that would be so nice. It almost looks like a, um, I guess, what is it, a leopard print? But I thought that was really nice. I have an idea where I would lo love for it to be placed on the jacket. So I thought that would be really nice. I also have some more embroidery fabric. I'm just in love with these embroidery fabrics. I just think these are going to be fabulous jackets. Even if it's springtime, can you imagine that on the back of a jacket? I think that is so beautiful. And this one, just a jacket in itself. Love it, love it, love it. Don't know what I would pair that with, but I feel like that is going to be an awesome blazer, the kind that when somebody steps in the room, they be talking like, oh, where did you get that from? So I plan on making that into a blazer. This right here, I was on the fence. This is so whimsical that I got it. I'm thinking blazer, but I'm also thinking not making the blazer until i have the under piece to go with it just because it's so whimsical i don't want to just have it because i like it and it's so pretty i just want i want to be able to have something to go with it as i go through my stuff hopefully i have something with one of these colors i know i need at least three yards because i'm thinking of a fabulous dress and this as the blazer and not just a short blazer i'm thinking a long blazer kind of maybe not quite knee length maybe mid thigh but we'll see i just like it i think it's so whimsical and it's so beautiful and if not there's plenty of this <laughs> i can change this to the curtains for my craft room but i see in my head i see a blazer so i got this for that i just love it now i got this this is has a waxy feel and it was just some scraps um it wasn't enough to do a whole lot with so i got it so i could maybe put it in an inside of a bag it was nothing special i mean it's a special fabric but it wasn't nothing that i was thinking about making other than putting it inside of a bag as a matter of fact i'm going to make a bag a denim bag and that would be perfect for the um lining this is another piece i was on the fence about um and i'm still not sure if i don't know how i feel about it yet <laughs> But I wanted to get it while I had the opportunity. But um, I thought this would be a beautiful coat. Also a long coat, like maybe um, like the mid thigh length again. I think this would be a beautiful coat. And especially for that pattern that I'm thinking of, I'm thinking I might could get away with that pattern for this for that fabric this is it there isn't a lot of this i just fell in love with it it's so pretty so i was also thinking about color blocking a jacket with this one i'm gonna have to find a um i wish i could just find just this fabric because this fabric is really not that heavy and that would be awesome for this to be the back of the jacket and just the rest of it in that green. I wish I could find that. 
Um, but I'll find something to make because I, I just see a, I see a lot of these prints, the back of a jacket. <clears throat> so I'm in an outerwear phase. I just made some outerwear and I really enjoyed it. But I just think that would be so nice on the back and maybe the pocket or what do you call it? The lapel. So I got that. I have some more fabric. This is definitely, and I I have um, this green right here. So make that dress. And then this would be the jacket to go to it. Because, you know, sometimes in, a, in when the spring first hit, it's still cool. This is going to be so pretty. I don't know if you can see, like, the rays. It is so nice. But, um, again, it's not a heavy fabric. This this feels more, you know, cottony, linen-y, linen-type fabric, but it is gorgeous, and it's, I really, I have, like, I have the uh, apparel fabric to make the dress that's going to go under this, so that is most definitely going to be made this spring. This right here is so beautiful to me. I love bees. And I think this is going to be an awesome blazer. Hands down, no oomph about it. Just a wild blazer. I think that is so pretty. I want to make this into a blazer as well. But... I was also thinking that it would pair well with some denim and doing a a trench that I wanted, a color blocking trench that I saw. So because of the weight, I think it's going to be perfect if I find the right weight denim to go with it. I think it's going to be perfect for that. But I love it. I love the animal print. This is it's probably looking black, but that's like a navy blue, actually. So that's going to be all that'll be an awesome coat as well. And this one right here is another piece that I thought would just be awesome. Um, I'm trying to find the inside for you guys. Yeah, I thought this would just be an awesome piece for the back. just to use those different pieces. It's just a, a little scrap piece, but just to embellish another piece, um, do an upcycle with, I thought that would be awesome. And have another piece of scrap. I got this for a bag. Thought that would be cute. And it was some trim left. Don't know where I'll use this trim, but it's, it's not a lot, but it's so gorgeous. I just, I got it. It's scrap trim, but really cute. It could go on the bottom of a coat as well. If there is enough. If, if not, I could see, um, I could even see making those into handles for a bag. So that's all I wanted to show you guys. Wanted to share what was coming up next. We have, um, I have a collab coming up. The first one that's gonna, um, that's going to come out first will be my collab with Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room as, as well as Rebecca from Tribeca Designs. We are doing an upcycling collab and it's with Metallics. I'm nervous and excited um, because I feel like Rebecca is one of those queen of upcycles. So, and that, and Miss Jen, she just makes the beautiful things that she makes. So, I'm like, okay, now I gotta get with it. <laughs> but I saw Miss Jen went. To, I saw that she went to. Um, she went thrifting and she found a couple of things. So I went thrifting while I was out of town, and this was even before she. Uh, I was even approached to do the collab. I had already picked up a suit that I found because I had been looking for a suit, but we're here. A suit they want like twenty five dollars, and for you that may be oh well, it's nothing. It is nothing for a suit if you're a guy and you need a suit and you no it is nothing because suits are expensive. For me to cut it up, that is something. So anyway, found the suit for eight dollars. The material is thin, but it happens to be 
metallic. <laughs> and so we're upcycling with metallic. I had an idea what I was going to do with the suit anyway. So I'm thinking about going ahead and doing what I was thinking about doing. Not sure. Um, but there are, there are a couple of McCall patterns that I hope that I'm able to get to the sale. And one of those, I was also considering doing this with as well. So we will see. And, um, I saw that Jen got, um, she had beads. And so I, I had already planned on making jackets and beading them, but I also happen to have several beads. So I'm going to see if I could do something. I may just end up making a pair of earrings to match the, um, suit or making jewelry with it. I don't know. Um, but we'll see what what happens. These are just the pants, and I have the jacket, and I only pay eight dollars for it. So that was a win. Now let's hope I don't mess it up. <laughs> but we'll see. Um, so be on the lookout for that collab coming out this week. I'm so excited to see what everybody thinks, as well as don't forget about embrace the lace. That is a collab I do with. Lara from Sewing Up Style and Grace from So Lovely with Grace. Each month we bring you an episode where we've made a garment that we've incorporated um, lace into. So this um, coming up when we will be showing our mates for that as well. So I'm looking forward to that. That I know exactly what I'm making. But I'm trying to do too much, so I'm trying to recreate recreate some things. So we'll see what happens with that as well. But those are two things that I know that will be done this week, as well as I'm working on the upcycle at this present moment. It is sitting in in there in the dye bath, I guess that's what you call it. So I gotta go ring that out once I finish making this video and then wash it and see how that turns out. If it turns out anything like what's in my head. <laughs> But um, those are the collabs that I will be participating in that are coming up um, within the next few days. So be on the lookout for that. As well as if you saw my last video, I was talking about um, frog tails in Richmond, Virginia. I'm in a group on Facebook called Richmond Really, Richmond really Sews. And Richmond Really Sews decided to host Frocktails for Rich, I mean, yeah, for Richmond. So it is called Richmond, Virginia Frocktails. The tickets have not gone on sale. And then when they do, if you're local to the area or you're close by and you want to purchase tickets, I will be putting that up on the video as well as as well as I've had people to contact me. And I please don't forget, I have I have not forgotten about you. I have um just been waiting for them to send me the information as soon as the ticket sales are available. Um, if you're not in the area and you still wanted to participate, don't forget that I said that you can make your frock and send your picture in. And I have the information for that as well. And I will be posting that in my description box below. You just may want to participate, but you're not, you know, you're not able to come. Not a problem. So those are just some of the things that I have going on as well as Grace from So Lovely with Grace. I watched her, her Friday Souls video yesterday and she was talking about the pattern sale so if you want to know about the exact date of the pattern sales you need to go to her video and i'll link it in the description below um i don't know the exact date but if i'm not mistaken she did say mccall's was on sale this week i have not seen an update from rochelle handmade designs not saying that she has not put it out there i haven't seen it so i'm telling you i saw i've seen grace and that's the video that i will link at the bottom if during editing i see that um rochelle has posted something i will put that down in the description as well um but that's all i have for you guys today sorry i didn't have anything made that's just that's how the ball rolls sometimes sometimes the creative juices get the best of us and we just don't know which way to go and i w i went to the left probably should have went to the right <laughs> but it's okay i'm gonna make a comeback i'll have something nice to show you guys next week with all of that said, don't forget to go and sew something fabulous. And I see you guys on the next video. Have a great week. Bye-bye.